Alright, so for today's review, we are going to be taking a look at my first gear Kenworth T880 tandem tractor that was built by Custom Styrene on 150th scale. Um, so to start off the review here, uh, you can see that you do have a nice Kenworth decal right there on the hood. Uh, you got the T880 decal right there. You got a simulated door head, uh, handle and the, the door right here. The door does not open on this model. You do have a nice chrome fuel tank right there. You got a nice def tank uh, right here with the, with the blue fuel cap. Uh, right there uh, you do have some notch steering on the model uh, which is nice uh, you get some very realistic turn angles out of there um, like I said you do have the Kenworth logo right there on the uh, hood it's a little tiny small one right there and you got some plastic simulated venting uh, right there and then you do have a little paint on I believe this is some like reflective tape or a running light right there and then your hood does open uh, as well as you can see you got a nice engine in there. I believe this is a Packard engine uh, if I'm not mistaken uh, And then you do have a radiator right there and you got all your hoses and stuff run into your radiator uh, And into your air intake and stuff like that um, And then coming to the back of the model you can see you have a T880 Or not a T880, a T800 headache rack uh, I got this in a parts lot and thought it would be better to have a sword headache rack then to have the first gear headache rack, which is all plastic and kind of looks real cheap and cheesy. Um, and I did also remove the hydraulic tank that is on the back uh, as well. Um, I think it just looks a lot better. Uh, and you can see right there, you got a nice handrail right there on your exhaust. And there is one behind the um, headache rack as well. Uh, now these fenders, uh, you can see, you can see kind of right there, it does say Kenworth on them, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, they are actually off of a Tonkin, uh, I believe it's a W900 uh, on 153rd scale. Uh, I was looking for a set of fenders off of, um, what was it, the Norscott T800 or a um, Sword Peterbilt 357. Uh, and a guy messaged me saying that he had these fenders. Um, and I thought it would be wise to pick them up uh, as well. And you, can, you can't really tell if they're 153rd scale. Uh, they do fit on the truck uh, very nicely, uh, so you can't really tell that there's a scale difference there. Uh, and then coming to the back of the model, you can see that um, this is where the frame was cut. Or this is where, yeah, this is where the frame was cut. Um, when Custom Saturn was building this truck, he decided to try something different. Uh, so instead of cutting the frame, um, like right here, uh, like he did on most of my other tandems where we cut the frame uh, in the middle where the drop axle was uh, and then you would cut a little bit uh, cut a little section of it out uh, and then you'd re-glue the frame back together on this one what we did was or what he did i should say is he cut the frame off the back um because these wheels uh they just unscrew from the frame uh it's not like the sword trucks where it's like um they're all mounted they're all part of the frame and stuff like that on um, this one uh these wheels come off so we cut he took we took the wheels all off and then he cut the frame in half uh, and then he did some sanding work um and filing work on the back uh to make it look like um what the uh, kind of like what the t800 looks like uh and trucks like that uh and then obviously he painted it flat black uh to try to match the frame uh, you can see right there the lights on there still need to be painted back on uh, but he did make those out of styrene as well and he did a couple pieces of styrene here uh, as well to hide the cut marks and stuff like that uh, and i believe this is a little place for the license plate right there uh, and then these fenders on the model are uh plastic uh from first gear this is just the ones that come with the t880 um so and they're just kind of glued they're just glued onto there that's how they come on the truck there's like two little tabs that poke down and you just stick this on and glue it on um, and then coming to this side of the truck uh you can see it's relatively the same as the other side of the truck um, you got your air tanks right there, you got your battery box and your steps right here. Uh, you got a nice hand around your exhaust on this side as well. Uh, and then it's kind of the same. Uh, you got the nice, the nice Kenworth decal right there. And then you got some, you know, the T880 decal right there, your door handle right there, and then some more of the painted on striping or running lights right there. You got your clearance and marker lights on top as well. Uh, you can see you got a nice chrome bumper. You can see my fingerprints on the chrome. Uh, and then you got this little warning beacon up on top. Not a huge fan of these. Uh, I wish First Gear wouldn't put these on the trucks. I wish they would just do it straight, just uh, um, 
with the uh, marker and the running lights on top and the clearance lights on top because uh, it does look kind of weird when you have a warning beacon on the cab itself and on the headache rack. Uh, that's just my opinion and you can't really remove it because um, then there'll be a hole in the top of the cab and you have to fill it in, paint it. Um, but here's the front of the truck. You can see you got your nice headlights right there. You got a nice Kenworth decal on your grill uh, right there. Uh, and your grill is chrome and it's not etched through, but it does have a texture to it to simulate it kind of being etched through, uh, which is nice. Um, but that's uh, really about it for this uh, model. The fifth wheel on here, as you can see, uh, has a bigger hole that was drilled out. I did that myself. Um, that was drilled out so that it can accept um, the first gear, or not the first gear, the um, sword team. Um, the Sword Rogers Little Boys, East Dumps, almost every Sword trailer um, but for, will fit this, but for some reason, the um, Kingpin on the uh, Nelson trailer doesn't want to fit into this uh, drill out Kingpin, so I'm not really sure um, uh, why that is. It's kind of the same as the Little Boys, I thought, but I guess, I guess not. Um, but that's really about it for this review of my Kenworth T80 Tandem Tractor built by Custom Styrian. Um, as you guys saw, this was in the Landall Tilt Trailer review, uh, so I figured I might as well get the review out of it, um, after that review was posted. Um, so here it is, um, but that's really about it for this review, so if you would like to follow me on social media, um, uh, my link to Instagram is in the description, uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and as always, stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.